well, he's facing you, Whoa. and then your team can just kill him. So they make sure they don't take it for themselves. That's a great pick. I hate to say it. Oh, That's a great sniper pick. Is this Arteezy sniper? Behind the tower. <laughs> the side of the radiant. Yeah, when the creep waves get pulled together like that, it's very important, though. I like this aggression oh, too. Okay. Yeah, we're seeing the the pressure being placed over here on Saberlight. He's underneath his tower. You figure that he'd be safe here, but it's not looking too great as there's going to be the first blood. But now Arteezy, he is getting clicked away here by Moon Meander. We'll go pop the stick. So it's going to be all right, but we all know. Must be some difficulty. I can see the pings come out here. He's going to try to slow down Saberlight. There's that trap that we talked about. Starbreaker on board. Going to get interrupted by Moon, but they still get themselves a kill, and the Heavenly Jump will ensure that Zeus will survive on there, trying to, uh, you know, put out Harass, slow them down a bit, but... Yeah, but the, the, the problem is that Nightfall's man is just so full here. Right. He's gonna have to mango just to save himself if he lives Ooh. here. Nah, he, like, that's that's the problem. If, if Nightfall's mana was at once, but it's it just the fact that Tomato's HP was super low and his mana was basically gone completely means uh, he's in trouble territory. Oh. If, if he was still full, I would have felt better about it. Another kill for Fly? Holy crap, very far. Now he's even got an arcane boot as a five position here at six minutes. This is like unprecedented farm for your five. And it isn't even like his carry died a lot and he got caught up there. I mean, he's maybe stolen some last hits here. This he's is got a... 19. But... It's a dead Tomato. Are you ready to run? And yeah. uh, possibly, it's... no, I don't think Hobbit's gonna go for that. He's gonna play it safe. Stay a little bit too low. Nice ice path though, coming out from Dubu. Does manage to slow down a little bit. Saber light, he's trying, but Arteezy just keeps clicking away. The body blocks flies, just like, ah, you know what? I'll just make sure that we get that easily. And uh, now with the rotation from Brile, this should be a death <laughs> for Arteezy, so need it. Because it's lower cooldown, comparable mana. Uh, maybe it's not the best pick, but. Top lane, just putting the pressure down on Arteez. Dropped all of the shrapnel charges. A good avalanche coming up from Crit. Toss up into the air. It's going to be a kill. And now Moon Meander is left alone. But he manages to juke around Abed as Brile is going to try to just uh, run away. Looks like he'll be successful. Moon Meander, though. Oh, he walks right into Crit. And uh, we'll use the Heavenly Jump to get away. Avalanche doesn't quite connect. Ooh. But there's no TP, so they are going to be spending a little bit of time hunting for Moon Meander. There is no escape other than death. <laughs> okay, I'll be finally. Full treads, he's got earned charges, he's got the wand. He's going to spot Dubu. It this is quite the kill. Indeed. Yep. Wasn't going to be able to escape not that, especially not with the rotation from Fly. In their uh, They're hunting. laning stage has been very good. They saw that they used the uh, the ultimate for that zone, so uh, it's gonna be the roar, but the follow-up here from Fly, so the Guardian, Slight come out from Abed, and uh, they take advantage of that. ...around this area. Moon, throwing out the Lightning Bolt, Avalanche. It's tossed out, they do have Fly nearby. In fact, a lot of EG making their way over. They're gonna go and just hold Brylin uh, in place, the follow-up toss here, but it's a good ice path through from Acropire. A couple Slights getting tossed through. Crit scrambling to chase after them. The slow over onto Dubu. They should be able to catch him at the very least. And they actually catch themselves as Zeus, too. So Moon Meander gonna be forced to use that jump. As EG continues to just click away. They know that they're very powerful right now. They dropped another toxin over here. And a Viper. Don't necessarily get a kill. You're forcing these opponents to, to run away from these areas that they want to farm in. Moon Meander looking kind of dead here to me. Yeah, I don't think he survives this. Yeah, he definitely does not survive this. Another kill here for Nightfall. So much so you, you um, oh, okay. but for now, just continuing his farm. Little ulti there by Moon. Yeah, they're looking for the scout, and they uh, do end up finding the Bristleback. Brawl trying to run away with the Solar Guardian coming out from Fly. They are going to be able to take out the Aegis, and they'll take out a Shrine while they're here, and go right back in. Looks like Legion Tomato, he was trying to help out, but it is just not going to happen. As now Tomato also in a bit of a sticky situation. Beautiful Ice Path, though, getting dropped by Dubu. We'll slow down the rest of the team and cancel out some of those blinks. It looks like Saberlight is considering making his way through here. Hear the roar, they find they themselves the Ember, they drop the Ice Path, and they'll get some dual damage over onto Tomato. But now they have a problem because Arteezy is just clicking away on Tomato, and he just cannot do anything. He's being kited so well, he will end up dying. 
exactly what they they do. Because um, now they have the BKB. They're going to walk right into each other. A rumble over here. But look at this AoE damage coming out. There it is. The Solar oh Guardian God. coming out. There. They just melt. It is a disaster for TSM as the Bryle runs away with that fresh BKB. Ovid, though, he's in pursuit. He would like to get the kill over on the Zeus, and he should be able to manage it. My God. Oh, the crystal back. Bro, doing a decent job considering that he does not have an easy game with everything that they're throwing out here. But do get a duel off. And uh, oh my God, yeah, the, it, it almost oh, looked like oh. it was going to be able to do it. But the Roar coming oh, out. Okay. They end up getting the kill on Arteezy and they'll be able to punish Fly. So with some fast TPs coming out from the side of TSM, Tomato will. Yeah, there are Saber, a couple like, perfectly people. positioned. Yep, oh, there's the avalanche though. They drop the ward. They have the vision. Go for the roar. And he's just ticking down with too much here. So it will end up getting the kill on Saber Light. Brow, they're joining into the fray. They realize that uh, they might not have the whole team here. There's Thunder God's Wrath come out and they're just going to bash away over at crit. They'll get a kill. And they're <laughs> looking at Nightfall. He's like, he sees that geniuses. You don't want to send your safe lane Legion like jumping in there to try lockdown. They'll open up with an ice path. That's great. But again, that break coming into play. The toss back over on Brow's got the beat. But this physical damage is just proving to be too much, so they'll get a kill on Ryle very easily. And uh, they'll continue putting the damage over on the buildings. Nightfall just gets a kill on Moon Meander because he's a Viper, you know? Okay. Sometimes these things happen. And I just, I don't know how they push them off right now. Especially not with, with their Bristleback. They call GG, they realize they that they it, just yeah. can't do it. I mean, that was, that was their best timing, uh, to be honest. Uh, they're supposed to be really strong with Bristleback Axe and BKB. He pops the BKB, but he runs in and, well, he got tossed in, actually, forced to take a fight. He gets Vev Viper ulti, too, so he's still slow despite being BKB'd. And EG just cleans him up. What a clean game from EG. And a great showing from them. They just, they dumpstered their lanes.